Hello everyone, today we're going to take a look at an AI tool that is used to generate readme files for all your projects. It uses generative AI to write the descriptions and documentation for your code. And there are many different templates for your readme files. And there are also many different prompts that you can give. You can always check the parameters from the listings. For the system requirement, you need to have Python programming language installed. And you need the pip package manager or pipx or docker. So in order to check if you have Python, you need to open a terminal and write python or python3 if you have a response like this then you have python installed if you do not have this then you need to go to the website python.org and from there you can download and install python for your uh, operating system for this AI tool you can use many different LLM services you can use OpenAI, you can use Google Gemini, but in this video we're going to use Olama. And Olama is basically a service that can, uh, you could say, load different types of uh, AI model locally on your machine. So let's start. In order to manage the dependencies so from here you can see how to install it on your machine so we're going to go ahead and write pipx help to check if we have it here you can see all the parameters that we can use with this program so let's write pipx install readme ai for me i have already installed it when we write now readme ai we can see program has been installed and you can see all the different options that we can use for example the API all the different customizations and the language and the model and also one of the most important parts is the repository which is either github, gitlab or bitbucket or a local directory to your project so let's go to a folder where we want to make or generate the readme file In order to test this tool, we're going to use the same GitHub uh, repository just as an example. So we're going to write dash r and paste in the link. Now we're going to write the type of API we're going to use whether OpenAI or offline for offline it will not use any types of AI it will just generate the template file for us 
without having any descriptions as we can see here you can see it has generated a readme file with all the different types of files and table of contents and it has added a getting started section from here we can see all the different templates that we can make and for example let's take this and let's add it to our command over here we can check now for example the image parameter can add different customizations to the image let's add black for example let's see how it looks now you can also add an emoji parameter as you can see here it has added emojis to all our uh, section title so now let's check uh, the website for Olama you can install it for Mac, Linux and Windows in my case I'm going to install it for Linux so I'll copy this command over here just going to start to download it here it will show you the NVIDIA GPU installed if you have this then you are probably going to have a better experience and uh, it depends on how strong your GPU is on your machine so let's check here Llama 3 you can write on Llama run Lama C which is going to automatically download it and uh, install it for your machine by the way you can install any other uh, any other type of model or any uh, newer model okay since I have already installed it it uh, has shown me the prompt to write any question so I will ask it any question just to show you that how it works you can see that it has generated an answer completely offline on my local machine so if you write Olama serve you can see that it has a server you can check it on this local host 11434 so once we have the server running we can go back to our readme AI and now we can use Olama and we can specify the model then we can wait for it to generate the documentation from our code this will take some time so I will speed up the video
אוקיי. נאו אז שקט. You can see that it has generated text for us. It has made an overview. And it has made a feature on description table. Also for our modules, it has generated a summary for each file that we have. You should probably edit uh, the generated text because sometimes it can have some uh, inaccuracies. So, yeah, that's basically the uh, tool. You can try different uh, LLM services if you want, but it will require an account and an API key which would uh, incur some costs so it's preferable to use uh, a local machine there's no need to set up an account and there's also no limit on the API calls that you can make I hope this video was helpful and thank you all for watching. Thank you.